everyone and welcome to my new Dory paint video! Well guys, today we are finally going to make the winter version of Persephone. I know many of you have been really waiting for this doll because about probably five or six months ago I've made a summer version of Persephone because if you remember she has kind of two sides, she plays two roles. In the summer she stays with her mother here like in our world and she is a goddess of vegetation, goddess of spring, you know, of all these good things. And then in the winter she goes to her husband to hate into the underworld and then she plays the role of goddess queen of the underworld. Many of you really enjoyed my spring summer version of Persephone so today I'm really excited to start working on the winter version of this doll. So let's keep this intro very short, I really love short intros and also I feel like we will have a lot of work today, prepare for a longer video probably this time. Also guys please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, we are so close to 600,000 and we still cannot reach it and I I've promised you that once we reach 600,000 followers I'm going to organize like a new giveaway, some sort of contest, something like we've made last time when I reached 500,000. So guys don't forget to subscribe, of course support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Yeah and I'm going to start working, excited, it's a very cool project. So I'm going to use Frankie as a model for my dark Persephone because I used Frankie for the summer version of her and I really want both of my Persephones to look like the same person but in different situations, kind of playing different roles but still having the same face. So let's prepare her for the makeover, let's remove her clothes, let's cut off her hair and then I will use my hair dryer to warm up the head to make it easily removable. Okay, the canvas is clean, the next step of our makeover will be giving her new hair and you know my summer Persephone had light ginger hair so for the winter version I would love to use a darker shade of ginger so first of all I'm going to cover her head with a couple of layers of acrylics matching the new hair color and then I will take my rerouting tool and I will give her a bunch of new hair.
this is how it looks when the job is finished very pretty i really love the hair color such a darker shade of ginger really super so now let's add some glue to the inside of the hat wait for 24 hours for it to dry completely and then i will be able to start working on her face But first we need to seal it with Mr. Super Clear, of course. So I begin with applying two layers of pink pastels to cancel the green color. After this, I'm going to sketch her eyes and lips with a watercolor pencil. It will help me with drawing shadows on her face. I will know where the shadow is supposed to come. My summer Persephone was super cute, super sweet, super natural, yeah, like in general very sweet looking girl. And this time I want to add a little bit more drama to her look. The eye makeup will be darker, there will be no smile on her lips and her eyes I want them to look straight into your soul. I don't want to make her look, I don't know, evil or something like this, but I want her to look pretty dramatic. Okay, I think I'm happy with the way she looks now. The next step will be to blush her body to make it the same color as the face because the difference is quite big right now as you can see. So first of all I'm going to remove this pin on her neck. Then I will sand the body with nail buffers to make it completely matte, spray it with Mr. Super Clear and then I will cover it with the same pastels like we've just used on her face.
So the face and the body look finished to me and you know what guys, I think I want to style her hair now as well because mostly I let it till the very end of a project and then I feel already quite tired and I enjoy working on hair less than I would normally do because I really love working on doll hair. When I was a kid I had all my doll's hair cut. My mom was really upset about it all the time. So let's give her a bunch of gorgeous curls now and let's enjoy the process. This is it, this is where I've ended up and it looks really beautiful on her I think, she looks like a queen with these beautiful locks. Good, now let's attach eyelashes, let's apply gloss and then we'll finally move on to her outfit and accessories. So the outfit. I want it to look like a very dark wedding dress because you know Persephone has become this goddess as a wife of Hades, as a wife of the god. And I wanted to show up in her look that she is like a dark bride of the dark god. So I'm going to use a lot of this black tulle material and the bottom layer of the skirt will be this gorgeous green fabric. It's gonna remind Persephone of the green grass on another side of the world, like where her mother lives. And also the green color looks quite evil and dark to me, so it would work here really well, I think. So I started with making a skirt and actually I'm making four different skirts because like this, this skirt will look much fluffier and puffier than if I connected all the layers together and gathered them with one thread. Okay, it looks cute. Now I want to make some sort of a rose flower out of the top layer of her skirt. I'm going to kind of wrap and gather it together. Yep, something like this. I really like it. It looks really good. I'm very happy with the skirt. So now let's make a top and for the top I'm going to use this beautiful vintage French lace.
this is it so far. I don't know. It looks super elegant. I really love it. It looks dark but not spooky. And it doesn't really remind me of any Halloween costume. And this is a good thing for this project. So now let's make some accessories. And for this I will have to print some things on my 3D printer. And yes, guys, of course, I've ended up making a bunch of skulls and also some pomegranates. I don't know, I hope I'm pronouncing this fruit, the name of this fruit, at least a little bit better than in the previous video, because in my last Persephone video I have butchered it all the way through, really. But anyway, just neglect me. If I'm mispronouncing something, it's normal. So, now let's wash, cure all these things and then we'll make a crown and also a pendant for my Persephone. have some skulls left after my last Persephone makeover and also after making the goddess Kali doll and check out that video by the way if you missed it because it was a really cool project I'm still happy about the doll and about that video so but now I have more than enough skulls to play with and I'm going to start with making a crown and for the crown I'm going to start with attaching a pin to the bottom of one of the skulls using epoxy resin Then I'm connecting two smaller skulls to the sides of this big one. Yes, good, and now let's paint it all with golden acrylics. On top I'm applying a layer of leaf in size. It will make the surface super sticky, really, like, like real tape. And then about an hour later I will be able to cover the skulls with an imitation gold leaf.
And yes, now you can see it. Now they can start shining like real gold. Oh my god, so pretty. It's one of my favorite processes lately. I cover the skulls with a layer of varnish to protect the gold and now this piece is finished I think. So now let's make a veil, attach it to the crown and then we'll attach it to the doll's head. And this is it guys, this is the crown with the veil, looks absolutely beautiful on her, it will go really good together with the dress. So and now let's make a pendant because I want her to have something on her neck. So I'm taking quite a tiny skull and I'm making a hole on top of it. And then I'm connecting the golden chain to the skull using epoxy resin again. this I can repeat all the painting and leafing process one more time. I have just wrapped some masking tape around the chain to make it easier to hold and to work with. This is our mini pendant, looks absolutely adorable and super shiny. Now let's put it on a doll. Yes, very pretty. Everything is going well so far. I'm very excited about this project. So now let's make a pair of shoes for her using Warbler Thermoplastic. And I'm going to experiment with shapes a little bit today. I don't want to make her shoes, I don't know, too plain or too elegant. I want them to look really bold and very special. Let's take two skulls and cut off the back part of them. I want them to be more flat because I'm planning to glue them to the front of the shoes.
Now let's paint and cover it with gold again. Now I want to take a golden chain and I want to insert it into this loop on the back of the shoes and then I'm going to wrap it around her ankles. So, and here are the shoes, they look really special this time, I'm super happy about them, you know, I wanted something really special for her, and this is it, it, it looks very special, I think. Well, and now when all the accessories are finished, I still want to make a throne for my goddess of the underworld, something very dark, very beautiful, and as a base for my dark and beautiful throne, I will use this empty Q-tips box, I think the size and the shape are absolutely perfect, so let's first glue it closed and then I will cover it with a piece of foam paper. The next step is attaching the back of the throne to the base and this back I cut out of a foam board. Good, now let's add two pieces of foam tubes to the front. So now the base is ready and we can decorate it with all the stuff that we have printed with my 3D printer. Okay, now it's finally time to paint it all.
I'm progressing guys slowly step by step but I'm definitely progressing and you know normally I'm brushing off all these golden foil pieces but I really love how they look here on this black background so I've decided to keep them and even add some more because the scattered gold adds really beautiful texture I really love how it looks Now I'm going to decorate the throne with a bunch of chains to make it even more epic. In the end I just want to add a seat. I cut it out already out of a foam board. Now we are going to cover it with this beautiful fabric and we will attach it to the throne. I'm finally done with this project and guys I think we can take a look at the end result pictures so and this is finally the result of this huge project I don't know guys it's probably gonna be a very long video this time because I just couldn't stop making things for her so I hope you like longer videos and you know last week I had a choice to release the doll a week earlier but without this throne or to skip a week and make a throne and you know I'm really happy I went for the throne because it really turns her from some average dark bright and to a real queen of the underworld even though YouTube algorithm probably thinks completely differently it really hates me lately probably because I don't upload new videos weekly but you can see it for yourself how big these doll projects are and how long it takes to finish them so please guys take a second and give this video a like if you think it deserves it normally it should give a sign to YouTube that this video can be recommended to other people as well Otherwise, I tell you, it's really hating me lately. But anyway, forget the algorithm and let's talk about pleasant things. Let's talk about the doll. I'm really obsessed with how majestic and queenly she looks. And at the same time, she's not really looking evil. She's maybe a little bit dark, but she's rather, I don't know, powerful, righteous, strict, like a real queen should be. So I hope you like my winter version of Persephone. I know many of you were looking forward to seeing this doll, so I feel like there is a big responsibility lying on me. 
So I really hope you're gonna like this doll. So please let me know what you think about this project and also who should be the next goddess or maybe a god for me to make here on this channel. So the comments are open for your ideas. And this doll is now available for sale for three days on eBay. So please check out the link in the description box under this video if you are interested in her. So, and that was my doll transformation of the week. I really hope you enjoyed it today. And if so, please, guys, don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. The new one normally will be... I don't even know, probably in two weeks. It's again a big project. But maybe, maybe next week, Friday, I will try something new like other format, shorter video, something different. So hit the bell button to get notified. But again, not 100% if I have enough time because I'm really full time working on two other dolls at the moment. So guys, that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a nice weekend. Love you guys. Bye.